Sabbats. I'm one of the hosts of Antic, the Atari 8-Bit podcast, and uh, I just got my iTalk2 unit to work, so we're going to uh, check it out and uh, watch the demo. Okay, so this is the iTalk2. It uh, looks like that. Um, it has ports coming out of it, um, both SIO, which I have attached to it back on the disk drive, and then it has two uh, cables, and it goes into joystick ports 3 and 4, and they're helpfully labeled there. So um, this will only work with an Atari 400-800. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, it's got a little light on it. When you turn it on, it it uh, lights the light. Oops, there we go. And it's also kind of interesting when you turn it on. The first thing it does is like send random signals to the Atari. So it kind of goes wow when you turn it on. Listen, I have to do it that time. Let me try again. There it is. All right. So now we are going to boot it up. This is the demo disc, which is uh, side B of the disc that it comes with. Please enter the number of the program you wish to run. I'm going to do uh, program number five, which is the demo. Hello, Atari user. Welcome to the future. My name is I Talk To. I am specifically designed to interface to Atari 400 and 800 computers. I have an unlimited vocabulary and I can talk in four different voices. 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 I can also speak foreign languages such as Spanish, Buenos Dias, Italian, Oso Romeo, Japanese, Sayonara, French, Obrigua. As you can see, I can talk without stopping the action in your program. I can be used for games like adventure or arcade style. I can help the visually handicapped to write programs, or I can act as a verbal enunciator. Also, I can be used for education, and I can enhance sales and business demonstrations. My uses are limited only by your imagination. So that's it. Uh, that's the iTalks 2 demo. Um, there's some other. Enter the number of the program you wish to run. Um, there's a game on here called Word Blaster, which is kind of fun, but takes forever to start. So the iTalk2 uh, works using phonemes. Um, unlike programs like Software Automatic Mouth, um, I, it appears you have to give it phonemes in order Hello. to make it talk. Welcome to Word Blaster. And so far, I haven't been able to find... Uh, Press the Y, D, to see instructions. Put it on normal mode. Start. Please wait a minute for me to set up Word Blaster. So I haven't been able to find a uh, manual online for this yet. If you have one, please let me know. Um, I want to be able to make it say things, and you can't, as far as I can tell, make it say arbitrary things unless you know how to use the phoneme language, which looks pretty complicated. This will still take a minute. I don't know what it's doing. It takes a long time. I am almost ready. There were a few other uh, voice synthesis things made for the Atari machines. Um, hopefully I'll get these to work one day. I have an alien group uh, voice box, which is pretty cool, and also a voice master um, from Kovacs.
They're here on my desk, but haven't gotten them to work yet. While you're waiting, you can subscribe to uh, Antic, the Atari 8-Bit Podcast. At ataripodcast.com or in iTunes. Smell computer. Computer. All right, so it wants me to spell the word computer, which interestingly is the same word it wanted me to spell before. Lot first time I played. So letters fly by and you try to shoot them. Very good. Oh, missed. Try again. You can do it. I can do it. So, um, yeah, it's harder to f hit the letters when they come in the top row. And sometimes it's hard to hit the letters when they come at the bottom row. Uh, C. Where's it? Oh, there it is. So. Deep it up. Yep, so that's Word Blaster. And that's kind of the most interesting stuff on here. Um, there's an, some sort of editor for, for teaching it words. There's a dictionary built in. That's what I figured out so far. That is uh, I Talk 2. <laughs>